Welcome to my life as a three-year-old corgi named Luca. I start off my day by greeting everyone in the household, which involves me going to every single bedroom, jumping up and saying hello. Here I'm saying good morning to my sister with lots of licks. Then I'm ready to go outside for the first time of many today. I have to expect the backyard from the deck to make sure that nothing has changed overnight. You never know and that everything is where it should be. Once I've established that everything looks good, it's time to do my morning business and play with my mom. I particularly like to chase a ball around the backyard, but I get bored of it pretty quickly. Thankfully, I had some friends come visit me today. My favorite thing to do is instigate the other dogs and then run away because they're on the leash so I can just get away real fast. But my friend's owners let her off the leash so we could run and play together and I had a blast with her. After a busy morning getting around the neighborhood, I am beat. Thankfully, my mom has work and my favorite place to get some R&R &R is right underneath her desk. I switch up my position several times and even lie right on her desk chair to make it very hard for her to move. I just like being that close to her. And if my mom ever looks at me and takes a break, I immediately roll over because I know that I can definitely get some tummy rubs from her. Then it's my favorite time of the day, lunchtime. I also can catch a few more minutes of sleep while I wait for my mom to finish her lunch. My mom always saves a little treat from her lunch to mix into my boring kibble. If not, I will go on a hunger strike. I still rather have a whole meal of human food, but I guess I can settle on this compromise. I'm just such a reasonable guy and I do have to watch my weight. I also go outside for a bit, but I'm not really sold on getting more exercise. Have you seen my morning? Not sure why my mom is trying to get me to do even more exercise. But then the fire truck comes with Santa on top to celebrate Christmas, and this is just ridiculous. Loud noises and Santa on a fire truck? Who let this happen? This makes absolutely no sense. I show my disapproval with a lot of barking. They better take my feedback and not dare show up next year. What has this neighborhood come to? Then it's time to go back to sleep as my mom goes back to work. Again, many different positions, really gotta mix it up this afternoon. Sometimes I can just sense that I'm being recorded. Can't anyone get any peace around here? I also have to take my shift watching the neighborhood. You just never know when something might go awry. Then it's nighttime and my mom takes me out in one more attempt for me to get exercise for the day. Today my mom actually had time to take me out a little bit earlier than normal which was nice because it was still light out. And she had an empty wrapping paper roll. What a fun toy. Way better than anything my owners have ever bought me from a pet store.
I had a blast trying to take it and run away with it. It was also super fun to play tug of war with, which is my main objective every time we start playing. I just want it to end in tug of war. Now it's my second favorite time of the day, dinner. I also lay on the kitchen floor to try to get my owners to give me pets. And guess what? It works 100% of the time. I'm just too cute to resist. After that, my whole family sits on the couch and sometimes I join them and sit next to them and sometimes I just stare at them even though there's plenty of room to sit next to them. I just like to keep them on their toes. Finally, I am taken out for the night to do my business, but it's a little rainy. I don't like walking on the grass because my belly is so low to the ground that my belly gets wet. So instead of going to the bathroom like my owner wants, I opt to drop by a puddle in my driveway to take a drink. It's not like I have clean water inside. Something about this is just so refreshing. Once I'm brought in, I want to say goodnight to everybody in the house, but when I go to my sister's room, I notice all these presents. I just know they have to all be for me. Still, I will resist and wait for Christmas. I jump up to say goodnight to my sister before heading to bed myself. And that's the day in the life of my charmed corgi life. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.